We've talked a lot about one-on-one -on -one interactions, but Irvin Goffman also wrote an entire chapter on teams. Do you remember the story about figure A's performance? To summarize, A dresses like a really environmentally conscious person. <clears throat> oh right, can't forget those sandals and yoga mat. A gets into a Hummer and drives away from B. Figure B can't help noticing that the given performance contradicted the given off. A isn't the only performer in this situation. The driver of the car is part of A's performance as well. This contradiction has now reflected poorly on A's team. B may now have some serious doubts that A and A's driver are friends of the environment. Goffman explains that it doesn't matter how team members are related, it is the shared interaction that matters. Let's hear Elizabeth's story. So when I was working in the restaurant, uh, it was very important that the people don't stay sitting and eating too long because we were uh, the salary was tip based. So as soon as they get ready with the dessert, we take out all the plates and we put the check and we say thank you very much for coming. But sometimes, like some customers, they have the check there and, and they don't want to pay and they just are talking and we are losing business. What we do is another server, one of my colleagues will go and pretend, oh, and take the check and say, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you, you put the car already. The wait staff at this restaurant is a team. They are bound together by the situation and must maintain this performance throughout their shifts. Elizabeth has been waiting for table four to leave for several hours. They haven't paid yet. She wants to nudge them into paying the bill and clearing out, but doesn't want to make it obvious. If they catch on, then they probably won't leave her a tip. Goffman might say that Elizabeth and her coworkers are co-conspirators. They will have to come up with a plan of action to get table four to leave without losing Elizabeth's tip. Here's the plan. Elizabeth's coworker is going to approach table four, pick up the bill, and apologize for his mistake. He will retreat, and hopefully table four will pay the bill and leave. Regions allow the team to plan the performance. Elizabeth and her coworker plan in the back region, or kitchen area, where customers are not allowed to go. It is in the front region where the performance is staged and maintained. Goffman described being on a team as similar to being in a secret society. Team members share a secret about the strategies they use to keep their performance going. Elizabeth and her coworker are keeping a secret from table four. They staged an unmet gesture in order to get customers to leave. Victory for Elizabeth and her coworker. Looks like their teamwork paid off. <laughs>